Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna and today I want to show you how to multiply matrices. Before we start with our calculations, we always have to check first if we are allowed to multiply these matrices or not. Because it's not always possible to do that, so to check this we highlight a row in our first matrix doesn't matter if you take the first row, the second row, or the third row, just pick one. And in our second matrix, we highlight a column. Also here, doesn't matter if you take the first one or the second one, just pick one. And now we take a look at the number of the elements in our row and the number of the elements in our column. We have one, two elements in our row and one, two elements in our column and if the number of elements is the same in the row and in the column then we are allowed to multiply these matrices. If this is not the case we are not allowed to multiply them. So let's first take a look at an example for this here. We take a look at the row in our first matrix and a column in our second matrix. Here we have one, two, three elements in here and here we only have two elements in the column so we are not allowed to multiply these matrices. There is no rule for that so it's not possible. You just write it's not possible. The interesting thing is that if you switch these two matrices, just put this as the first and this as the second so it looks like this. Now things have changed and if we take a look at the number of the elements we have one, two elements in the rows and one, two elements in the columns and now it is possible to multiply these two. So always keep in mind that the order of your matrices matters and that you always have to check first if you're allowed to multiply or not. So if we go back to our example from the beginning, we've already checked, yes, it is possible to multiply. And as a result, we always get a matrix again. And we can now already say how this matrix will look like. Because we will have as many rows as the first matrix. So we will have three rows in our result here. And how many columns? as many columns as the second matrix has. So we have two columns. So we will add these lines here. And this is the structure. We have one, two, three rows and one and two columns. How do we find the entries now? For the first entry that is in the first row and in the first column, we pick the first row and the first column. And now we do the following. We always multiply elements because of the multiplication here, starting with the first element. So the first element here times the first element here. One times one is the first thing we do. And then we add and go to the second elements. So three times two will be the second thing we do. And then we would add more of these products if there were more entries in our rows and columns here. There are not. So we're done with that. And we just uh, calculate this. One times one equals one plus six. So we have seven. And that's the result for our first entry here. And now we keep on doing this with the second row here. But we, we stay in the first column. So we just have to switch this row to the second row. But we stay in the first column here because we want to find this element now. We do the same again. We multiply. First element, 0 times 1. Well, OK, that's 0. But plus the second element, negative 1 multiplied by 2. So we have negative 1 multiplied by 2 and then we calculate this. This is 0. Here we have negative 2 as a result and this is the element we get here. Then we go down one row. So from the second row to the third row, we're still in the first column here because we're still in the first column here. So we multiply. We have one times one plus two times two. Well, we can, you can do that in your head then when you're a bit faster. So it's one plus four equals five. 
now, if we want to find this element, we are in the first row. So we pick the first row. And now we're in the second column. So we have to pick the second column here. And we multiply. 1 times negative 3 equals negative 3 plus 3 times negative 4 equals negative 12. So we have negative 3 minus 12 equals negative 15. Then we go to the second row here. So we switch this to the second row and we multiply. 0 times negative 3 equals 0 plus negative 1 times negative 4 equals 4. So we have 4 as a result here. And now for the last row, we highlight the last row and the last column. And 1 times negative 3 equals negative 3 plus 2 times negative 4 equals negative 8. So we have negative 11 as a result and we found our matrix we were searching for. I hope you know now how it works. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!